Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a healthy, filling and nutrient dense oats breakfast smoothie which will help to keep you feel fuller till lunch time. An ideal breakfast smoothie in your weight loss journey. And guys, if you haven't still subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the red button and subscribe so that you will get notified when I upload new videos. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the recipe. Now to make this smoothie, I have already soaked about 10 to 12 almonds. The almonds I have soaked overnight. Now the reason why you need to soak the almonds are the outer skin of the almonds does contain phytic acid which actually is a nutrient inhibitor. So you need to remove the skin of the almond to uh, help the nutrients absorb faster into your body. So this is very important when you are using almonds. Soaking overnight is ideal or at least about 4 to 5 hours. So I am going to peel off the rest of the almonds. Almonds has good healthy fats and it's also ideal to give soaked almonds to children especially young children and growing children all you have to do is soak about five to seven almonds and give them in the morning having it first thing in the morning is ideal okay now the almonds are peeled so i'm going to keep this aside next i'm going to roast three tablespoon of oats I'm using old fashioned rolled oats. The reason why I'm lightly roasting the oats is to remove the phytic acid content. Even though oats are slightly cooked, some people may get digestive issues like bloating or indigestion. It is always ideal to lightly roast the oats before having. Another way to remove the phytic acid content is uh, you can soak the oats for about 10 minutes or so. When you are having raw oats, make sure that you either lightly roast the oats or you soak the oats and then you consume. So I'm just lightly roasting it on low to medium flame. I have already shared a couple of oats smoothie recipes. You can check them out on my channel. So now the oats are lightly roasted. I'm going to remove it to another plate. And I'm going to allow the oats to get completely cooled. If you have the habit of consuming oats for breakfast, you can lightly roast the oats, allow it to cool down and then store it in an airtight glass container so that in those busy morning hours you can totally avoid roasting the oats each time. Now into my blender I'm adding in the peeled and soaked almonds. Into that I'm adding in one glass of water. So I'm going to pulse this first so that the almonds are nicely blended. So the idea is to make an almond milk first. Instead of almond, you can also use cashew nuts or any other nut of your choice. The reason why I am using almonds is to give some healthy fats in the smoothie. As this smoothie is a breakfast meal and to make the smoothie nutrient dense and super filling, you need some healthy fats. Also healthy fats helps to assimilate fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, K, E and D. So always make sure that you have a small quantity of healthy fats in your meals. So I'm just going to pulse this a couple of times. Okay now this is how it looks after I pulsed two to three times. Into this I'm adding in the roasted oats and make sure that the oats has completely cooled down before adding. Add in one apple chopped. Apples are right now in season and they are also low in carb. Always try to use seasonal fruits in your smoothies. Next I am adding in about 3 4 teaspoon cinnamon powder. Cinnamon helps to burn fat as it helps to boost your metabolism and it has many other health benefits also. I have already shared a cinnamon tea recipe along with the health benefits of cinnamon. You can check it out on my channel to understand more about the health benefits of cinnamon. I usually use whole cinnamon in my recipes. If you are using whole cinnamon, you can use about one to one and a half sticks of cinnamon. I bought this cinnamon powder online and I really like the flavor of this organic cinnamon powder. I will leave a link in the description box in case you want to buy the cinnamon powder. For some added extra sweetness, I'm adding in two medjool dates. Medjool dates are very soft. Next I'm adding in 1 tablespoon flax seeds. I always like to use flax seeds in my smoothies as they are a rich source of omega 3s, antioxidants, protein, fiber etc. Now if you don't like flax seeds you can totally omit it. Now I'm using a high speed blender so 
the flax seeds will get ground along with the rest of the ingredients and now I'm going to blend this until everything is nicely mixed and combined. Pour the blended smoothie into a serving glass. For some added crunch, flavor, extra antioxidants and fiber, I'm adding in a tablespoon of cacao nibs. And my healthy and super filling oat smoothie for breakfast is ready to serve. So guys do try this healthy and nutrient dense breakfast smoothie and let me know how it turned out. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with family and friends. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.